guys, welcome back to another video here in King Studios. Today, as you can see from the title, I will be showing you how to um, download and make your own intros using Panzoid. Um, all of these website links will be in the description. Check the websites out to do whatever I'm doing. Um, this will be a tutorial on how to download I mean, download how to make your own intros slash outros. So yeah, let's get straight into it. So the website that I'm on right now is called Panzoid. So you would basically find a template that you want. So for example, let's go find a template. Uh, like, let's do this one. That one looks pretty cool. So I'll leave this one this link before I forget I'll copy and paste that I'll leave the link to this one in the description all right so first of all what you would want to do is see if you like it by pressing the I and pressing the play button all right so it's pretty cool I'd say um, that's to preview it and then to like put the text and stuff Go to objects and go to text. I passed it. Yeah, text. Name it your name. So we'll put um red rage. I'm only putting red rage because the person, my first, like my second new intro, that's the guy who made my intro. Um, so shout out to him. Uh, and yeah, let's see how this looks. It's not that hard to make it, um, but it is hard to, like, save it to your computer and, like, to put in your videos. And I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so now what you would have to do is go to this. Like, it looks like um, an arrow pointing down at the ground. Go to Format, and if you're on iMac, put WebM. This is a tutorial for iMac. Um, and then press Start Render Video. I'll be back when it's done rendering. Alright guys, it's done downloading slash rendering, um, and I completely forgot to mention um, that you need the browser Google Chrome to be able to do this. Safari doesn't work if you're using Mac, um, and yeah. So once it's done rendering, press download video, and it, don't press any of these ads. All of these are ads could lead you into a virus. I wouldn't trust it. And then on Google Chrome, it should be on the bottom. So what you would do is um, you would have to like... Make this smaller. Drag your intro into your desktop. Once you do that, you can go into your Safari. I'm going to Safari because why not? And uh, what you have to do is press your upload button for your YouTube channel. Press select files to upload. And then go to video 6 webm. I mean videos. Um, WebM. For me, it says video 6 because I have a couple of intros. It doesn't have to be um, like edited or any of that stuff. Just put it um, unlisted. Do not forget to put it unlisted so no one else sees it. So now it's processing. Once it's at 100, I'll press done. Come on, load. So once it's done processing, processing, you can put um done. Then I'll leave the link to this website in the description. Um, copy and paste that. So Control C, and then go to the website in the link saveform.net. Press Control V where it says insert link, and then press and then. Oh no no I forgot to upload it. Wait. So, um, I did it completely wrong. Go to your video and then press Control C, then go back. You don't need that anymore. Control V. Now that's the right one. Then it should be downloaded right there. Um, press download in browser. And press download. And then intro would be. Right there. 
same with the outro it's the same thing um and now how to like add the video to the uh video what you would have to do is since oh i completely forgot to save it um so we oops we shorten that if i can there we go let's drag that into the desktop we can clear that or minimize that so go into your editing software what i use is iMovie and then press create new go press movie and then it should be leading into this press my media press import media and then scroll down till you find your intro i recommend you naming your intro um i'm pretty sure it's we have to go to desktop uh video six and then once it's there you can drag it there you go it's gonna be there and then of course you can change the quality of the video so it doesn't look like like blurry like that so it would look fine you can change the volume if it's like ear rape <laughs> um that one was ear rape so i lowered the volume of it and it's bad quality so i recommend you changing the quality once you file it and if you guys want comment down in the section if you got like the comment section if you guys want me to do a tutorial on how to edit videos and yeah if this got if this tutorial was helpful smack that like button comment what other tutorials i should make um and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video